So uh, <clears throat> Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum. Let's look at XRP. This a fifth, sixteen percent really. Sixteen percent. After all, it did right was back test eighty six cents as support. Not one day, but two days, forty eight hours, and here we go. Right, it was like a bearish engulfing, and now you're working on a bamboozle candle. Right, the fake out. It was so nice looking at that four hour. Oh, beautiful, dude. Right. You couldn't see it though. You could, if you were looking at the weekly or the daily, you couldn't see the really nice price action you were getting at that old resistance that it's now support, right? I think maybe for the first time in history, this is 86 cents of support. So look, hidden bullish divergence is extremely real and developed, and it hasn't even gone positive yet. You could imagine with the historical context of this chart, there's no resistance. This thing could go stupid. All right, it could go really stupid. I'm, I'm not saying it's going to, but look, man, when you get to a point where there is no historical resistance, you're showing hidden bullish divergence, you just back tested a level, you know, you'd been stuck in for like three years. Yeah, th those are like the conditions are favorable and, and probable of stupidity where the markup could be continued to be immense. Right, you see, you can't even see what happened on the weekly, but you saw it on the four hour and you see what's developing, right? Oh my god, man, on this chart, there's nothing, but really, I mean, even on the Bitfinex chart, there's nothing like there's it's kind of the same thing, it's just like a wick up to 276 versus 150, all right? But I think, like, if uh, the South Koreans are trading this, they it might take profit at that wick high. I mean, it's always possible, right? Their, their own chart, right? The Binance chart, they're trading their chart, so. Uh, 150 on here and then on, on Bitfinex. Here it is, man. Like, you see it, right? Like, this is huge. This is insanely good. Just job them through a few candles. It's not, they're not swing highs or anything. Like, th this is it, dude. You've broken the area. Kind of like cake is breaking through. Uh, and 276 would actually be, if you're not talking about Fibonacci, if you're just talking about highs and lows on weekly time scales, 276 is the target, right? <laughs> but it, I mean, it's just doing what it looked like it was probably going to do down here on, at the beginning of March, right? It was pivoting and, and held and that engulfing candle came in uh, the, you know, the week of March 15th. I was real good, man. And then once you, last week, dude, it was Sunday, Sunday evening in the States, you got that candle close breakout the September 2018 breakout and the follow through price action was immediate into the largest green candle you've seen I think this is the largest green candle seen since the week of January 2018 January 1st the buying climax okay hmm my man weird name but that's awesome that's a really i might want to get that for my own life license plate dude all right so xrp man amazing uh v chain Yeah, VeChain, dude. It was uh, incredible, right? You were asking, what'd you say? VeChain recovered, holding 20 moving average, exponential moving average, strong support. Uh, Moonshot, eh, I don't know, man. You're attempting the rally here. And, dude, yeah, I mean, breaking this previous eye. I mean, you could go to 13.5 cents. That's a 2618 fib extension. All right, you're, you're already, like, just breaking through the gold mean ratio twice now. But this is definitely an area where... Um, a double top could start happening. Man, these mark conditions are. Yeah, dude, it's the. Uh, I don't know. You know how it is, man. Ever since those tornadoes. Ever since the tornadoes, I just my internet is like that now. I don't know what happened. Great, dude. Great. So yeah, VeChain's up 10.3%. VeChain doing things. And uh, yeah, if it breaks this high here, 
you're in price discovery mode uh, above a psych the a major psychological resistance where I don't know why 13.5 cents couldn't be tested if Bitcoin continues catching bids you know VeChain's one of those outperformers definitely an outperformer like a theta it was I mean it's like uh, what are some other out major outperformers like Cardano had been you know and I think Cardano is going through massive uh, Consolidation and will eventually break. Hey Mitch, can you look at CLF? Perfect gap fill in back to some breakout today. Sure, look at that gummy bear. Thanks, 2169. Yep, CLF. Sorry, hold on. All right, yeah, V chain could be on to things. All right, so Bitcoin, um, kind of trying to climb right now, fifty-seven thousand nine fifty. 